Hello, my name's Mike, M0MSN, um, and this is another kitchen production. <laughs> I've decided to build a NFED half wave um, just to see how good they are, uh, or, you know, maybe they're not, but we're going to try anyway. Um, I've got two toroids, uh, but I haven't got enough copper um, wire in one piece, so I'm going to have to solder some together to see if it will work. Anyway, uh, this is what I've done. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do here uh, is I've wound um, some spare cable around the torites I want to use. Uh, this way I can gauge how much wire I'm actually going to need to, uh, uh, to use for the actual winding. The first two turns on the torites are, are of coupled copper, copper wire. Um, so to enable me to know how much I need to uh, to twist together, as you can see, I've uh, uh, taken two turns off the toroid and then measured that against the wire. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll twist the wire around each other. Um, but before I do that, I'll scrape back the enamel um, off the center of the um, of the fold because uh, that will be used to solder to uh, the earth tab later. It really is important to get as much as the enamel coating off of this area as possible, otherwise it won't solder particularly well. Um, also, uh, you need to make sure that the winding is as tight as possible as well. Um, I've, I hold it with a pair of pliers and then uh, do the twists with a screwdriver as you'll see now. Okay, start the winding. Um, don't forget that every time you pass the copper through the middle of the toroids, that's one turn. Okay, and what you want is two turns, and two, two twisted, that is, and then you want seven singles, um, single um, um, copper wire, single wire turns. Um, then you pass it through the middle of the toroid and you make another seven. Anyway, I'll show you that in a moment. As I think I said, I'm making this from scraps of, um, of uh, copper wire. Uh, so I'm having to, to solder another uh, length uh, onto my... Uh, this is actually the second piece, actually, because I actually soldered another bit and made a few winds before I recorded this bit. Uh, so this is the second piece of copper wire I'm soldering uh, on um, to continue the winds.
nothing like a nice big blob of soda is there um, and also I'll, uh, I'll put some heat shrink on it to, uh, to insulate centre pin, ground or earth, two turns before it splits out here and carries on for 14 more turns and then that's where the aerial is attached at the top there and this is where the aerial will go on the end of this bit of unsightly cable. Now this is where the uh, insulation come off um, the uh, copper wire and so I just decided to put some heat shrink on it to make it a bit more I mean ferrite doesn't conduct anyway so it's a, it's an insulator but um, yeah just to be sure you don't get any arc over okie dokie now there's two um, 240 43 mix um, ferrites here and that's a 90 can't get it right it's a 49 to 1 ballon hopefully if my calculations are right right cheers let's give it a test Here we go again. Right. Kitchens Industries Limited. Um, so what we've got is a ferrite coil. Ah, ferrite. Toroite. Oh, let me get it right. What we've got is a toroite. Wound as a 49 to 1 ballon. I've uh, very crudely sodded an SO239. Uh, onto the uh, bottom of the winding and uh, pretty much done the same crudely soldered a bit of wire up to the top and what I'm going to do now is uh, take this shop bought pallant ballon out of line and connect the uh, one I've just made and this is for a half wave end fed okay just let me be, bear with me okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to connect this um, half wave for 80 metres length of cable um, to the toroid I uh, just wound for four, for, uh, let's have a look. Be careful I don't break it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is uh, very crudely wrap. Good enough. Good enough connection. 
Oh, it doesn't move. Gosh, that's good. Okay, we're getting a little bit of movement because I think it's a not a particularly good joint. My goodness, that's uh, yeah, I'm okay. So it's um, yeah, well below 1.5. What about on seven meg? Um, I'm testing it using Foxtrot mic, by the way, FM. Okay, so that's at 7.1414. Where am I getting that from? 7.174. And okay, so the SWR is below 1.5. That's going to get any lower. Oh, it's jumping up a bit. That's at 7. It's on 1.5. What about the top end? I might just need cutting. Oh, it's, it's fine across the band. Crikey, that's good. 20, 20 metres. Well, I haven't put a, um, a capacitor in this. I expect it to be a little high, but I could put a capacitor in. Let me just check it to FM. And let's go down there a bit. Let's take it in the middle of the band. Yes, it's a little high, so I could put a capacitor in. A uh, hundred puff capacitor would probably bring it down. Yeah, it's still two though, isn't it? That's the <laughs> not, ba not bad for a, for a scraps of um, of copper uh, wire and um, two torites. So that uh, that would be okay because it's two torites up to a into, up to a kilowatt if you wanted to use a kilowatt. Um, well, I'm tempted to bring it in and solder a capacitor on it and then test it again. Bear with. There's four in there, so I can borrow one of those. I believe that's a, I don't know if you can see that, it's 100 puff, 3 kilowatt. So, not pretty, just needs to work. Okay. Same toroid, same windings, just stuck a capacitor across it. Just tapped on really, it's not been done particularly well, but then if this works, it will go into a box, um, into a housing, and I'll re-solder everything and make it a bit more uh, permanent. Um, goes off to uh, the antenna, which is now going up the post. So let's go and test it. It's um, interesting to find out if this works or not, isn't it really? Moment of truth. Okay, so it's brought it down below two. It's about 1.9, 1 1.8, 1 1.9. Uh, so it brings it into the usable side of um, SWR, which is good. Does it make any difference further up the band? Let's have a quick throw up. No, not really. Still below two, still usable. What about on the other bands? Yep, still well below 1.5. Yep, that's, I need to solder that joint because, uh, as I say, it's going up and down like a good one. So the worst it's going to be is 1.5, but uh, I think the reality is it's below. Okay. <laughs> Todos 
Thanks very much for watching. Um, <laughs> half, uh, halfway then, Feds. Perfect.